Praise the Lord, everyone, and uh, welcome to the God Solar Seven and Time Prophecy Channel. Um, I'm Sister Barbara, and yes, I'm in a different location today. Um, I'm having an issue, you know how it normally is, um, with the uh, recorder. Um, so join me. Well, I'm going to be in the King James Version Bible, but I'm going to be in my uh, what do you call it, book here. So I'm going to be in uh, Revelation. Um, let's see, chapter um, chapter six, uh, verse twelve. Okay, this is titled, The Sixth Seal, Terror. Then each of them was given a white robe and told to rest a little while longer until the full number of the, their fellow servants, uh, their brothers, were killed, just as they had been killed. Okay, so here we go. And when I saw the Lamb open the sixth seal, there was a great earthquake and the sun became black as sackcloth of goat hair, and the whole moon turned to, to blood red. And the stars of the sky fell to the earth like unripe figs dropping from a tree shaken by a great wind. Okay, that's it on that. So just bear with me, because again, I'm in a different location, and this is a humdigger, and we know that the devil does not want this up. So I was hearing parts of this yesterday. I didn't know what I was going to get. I didn't expect this. Now let's see, what is today? Do I have my calendar in front of me? Okay, so it's, I should know what today is. Okay, so today is September 25th, uh, 2021. So I got this um, first thing um, this morning. Here we go. Um, children, the battle rages for souls. Do not let your guard down. Truly, these are perilous times. You will see earthly signs and heavenly events. Each one points to my return. Well, there's the Holy Spirit. Each one an outcry to unrepentant sinners to turn from sin. You now see earthquakes, flooding, asteroid flybys, volcano eruptions, and fires over the nations. Soon you will see unexplained phenomena and supernatural sightings. Do not be afraid. <clears throat> if it is written, it will come to pass. Okay, here we go with this. I have three on these, on this. I am shaking the earth. Soon an unprecedented earthquake will strike your wide coast. Earthquake, molten lava, fire, and tsunami will erase abominations from my sight. Evil, rebellious sinners will be no more. I will make my way across your earth. Sudden destruction follows me. All creation will tremble at the sound of my voice. Where did we go? All creation will um, tremble at the sound of my voice as my angels wait for my next command. You will be smothered by deception and lies as these events unfold and world leaders tr will try to give you an explanation for what has happened. If you read my word, you know what is happening. Do not be deceived. Stay close to me now. Wow, I have the Holy Spirit. I could cry. I am the light of the world. Okay, we know this is not good. Wow, I have the Holy Spirit on me. I feel like I'm going to cry here. <clears throat> okay, so I already reposted up um, on the um, f uh, Facebook pages. Um, God Solar 7 Facebook. I'm not sure if I put it on, um, let's see, the um, uh, Sister Barbara Francis uh, Facebook or the um, King is Coming, Second Coming of Christ because I was tied up with all sorts of things this morning. Whenever I get a prophecy, it's like anything, I told you this, anything that could be thrown in front of my feet to stop me from putting it up is up. So we know we're at the end here. This is it. Repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus. You will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. I'm going to read about that in Book of Acts, Acts 2.38. And I want to just mention, um, thank you everyone out there. Um, please, if you're getting baptized, let me know. At least I feel like I'm doing my job here. Um, I know I've seen some people asking about baptisms in the comments. Please let me know what's going on. If you did it, um, because I told you guys, uh, Brother Dan and I were uh, sprinkled as children and then uh, rebaptized as adults. Um, resubmerged underwater in the name of Jesus. Um, that's really exciting for me when I hear this. Thank you so much for telling me. What else did I want to mention here? 
Um, just the same thing I normally say. Uh, even now, more than ever, have a plan and be prepared. You don't know what's going to happen. Now, as I was hearing this uh, prophecy and reposting those other, um, um, the other uh, earthquake uh, messages I have out there, I was reposting them. Now, I have a war video out there, and I, I might have reposted this, actually, again. Um, it's called, You Will See Invaders at Your Door. I'll try to post that up on the Facebook pages because when I was looking at the other videos, I was hearing that. I was hearing, you will see invaders at your door. So I don't know if this is going to go hand in hand with these um, events that are coming or the earthquake. I don't like to speculate or add anything to the prophecy messages, but um, I think I had in one prophecy it said that when you are busy with something like this, a catastrophe, a cataclysmic event, this is when we're going to attack. I have a prophecy that says that. You will be busy, you won't be paying attention, you will be distracted with all these other things. That's when the enemy is going to attack. So make sure you have supplies on hand. I'm seeing all those cargo ships off the west coast out there. Okay, and then in here. Now, I don't know if you guys picked up on this. Um, on another prophecy, I have the same phrase in here. Um, let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Um, let's see. Fly by. Okay. Where is it? Okay, earthquakes and flooding. Okay, here we go. This. An unprecedented earthquake will strike your wide coast. Now, in another one, I have the same phrase, wide coast. He's referring to the west coast. The other prophecy message that I put up on the earthquake, I don't know if it's mega quake. Um, I did get a, um, a magnitude on that that I didn't mention in the, the original video. I didn't mention it, but it is a 9.5 uh, earthquake that's going to hit. Imagine this. Now, I have how many of them um, prophecy messages saying, flee the cities, lest you take, it, take part in her plagues and other things. Just please um, have a plan. Have an escape route from where you, where you live. And you can laugh about it until you're trying to get away from whatever it is. Have an escape route. Have some emergency um, supplies on hand, some extra cash. Um, have a bag that you could grab in case something bad happens. Because we know it's going to happen. I have a thousand videos out there, Brother Dan and I do, saying pretty much over and over, these repents are, or these um, events and these things are going to happen because he says right here. Hmm. Because of unrepentant, unrepentant, here it is. Where is quick? Okay, I can't find that sentence. I know I'll find it in two seconds when I'm done here. So we're going to see an unprecedented earthquake. I had to Google unprecedented. I kind of know what it was. On the White Coast, um, molten uh, fire and tsunami to erase the abominations. All right. I can't see where that is in here, but I'm sure it'll be in the transcription under there. It's for unrepentant people that are still not getting it. That's why he's waiting. He's waiting for the last sheep to come in. I have that on another one. Um, okay, each one an outcry to unrepentant sinners to turn from sin. That is the major theme of all of our thousand prophecies. He wants you to repent, turn from your sin, don't do it again, and turn to him. You need to. You need to put your trust in him. He's the only way that's going to get us through this stuff, If whatever we're going to see. And I have other prophecies saying um, not to be alarmed at what your eyes are going to see. You're going to be seeing things, and we are seeing things already. All right, before I start going on and on anymore, I don't know if this is going to upload. Just want to thank everyone for everything you do for us, um, things you send us. Um, Jill, that box of, of presents and things was lovely. Thank you. We do have the same taste. Thank you so much. Um, and then, Catherine, um, thank you for the um, uh, picture cards again. Thank you so much. Um, uh, thanking everyone uh, that supports the ministry financially uh, during these uh, tough times, I'll say, and helps everyone that uh, uh, helps us to help others. And thank you, everyone, for the encouraging comments um, under the videos, um, helpful, helpful information. Um, what else? Um, translations in the other languages. Um, things you send in the mail again. Uh, cards. Uh, I have a whole bunch of lovely um, fall cards I got. Thank you so much. Um, cards, um, books, supplements. I get everything in the mail. Uh, clothing, jewelry, um, everything. Thank you guys so much. We love you for everything you do for us. Um, what else? Did, am I forgetting anything? Um, just please remember to keep um, uh, Brother Dan um, with the sore, um, sore back or something pulled in his back. Keep him in your prayers. Uh, my mom and Brother Dan's dad, um, both in the nursing home, you know, not in the best um, shape. Um, I should mention um, a, a, a childhood friend of mine 
um, that I'm still friends with for like since we're little kids, um, all through high school and so on, um, had a stroke and he's really not doing that good with it. Um, he lost most of his memory and it was horrible when he told me that. I was like, oh no. Now I know I told you guys out there for a stroke. When I had the stroke, I had Brother Dan running around bringing me those protein um, drinks to drink. I'm almost positive that that's why the, I had so much of a recovery and restoration of my brain tissue. After the fact, I read about um, amino acids helping repair brain tissue. So if you had a stroke or know somebody that had it, please get them those protein drinks or a box of protein powder. It absolutely helps. I, I said and everybody laughs, I can remember back till when I was three years old. And, and, and uh, my nurse laughed the other day. She said, well, what do you remember from back then? Don't laugh, my red shoes. <laughs> I was three years old, I had little red shoes. I think they were like little red Mary Janes or something. So again, have a plan um, and be safe. Um, please let your family know what's coming. Um, don't take anything for granted at this point. Um, today could be your last day. Um, tonight could be your last breath. Just please repent and have a, a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. He's the only one out there, like I said, right now, that's going to save you from any of these things that are coming. He'll keep you safe under his wings. Um, he will pass over your house. I have how many of these in prophecies? Please do this. Please, you need to know him personally and have a personal relationship with him. I hope this works. So God bless you all. Be safe. I'm going to attempt to shut the, um, the recorder off. Hopefully it won't fall down. That's what kept happening before. I couldn't screw it on with one hand. Then I couldn't, <laughs> I don't laugh, then I couldn't get it to stand up because I moved my location here. I had the, um, the nurse put out some of the fall decorations so my um, bowl that I used to put my um, recorder in isn't there anymore. Okay, please don't fall. God bless you all and be safe.